Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon and Rising. I do want to apologize for the quality. I'm not sure how this is going to come out as I am actually recording from my laptop. For some reason I've just been, it's been really challenging to get these readings out to you guys but I definitely uh, was very stubborn about it and I wanted to put them out there um, as soon as possible. So here we are at three something or four in the morning trying to upload these videos for you guys and um, yeah it's just been extremely crazy but anyways let's get right into your reading Capricorn this is going to be for Capricorn Sun Moon and Rising uh, for the month of May 2018 this is a general reading and for time purposes I've already shuffled the deck and cut it so let's get right into it in regards to communication with the element of air you have the nine of wands you have the nine of wands capricorn and in communication the nine of wands usually signifies being a little bit guarded um being a little bit i guess not as social or not as communicative uh for the month of may um this could have a right a wide range of variety of reasons why you're a little bit guarded or a little bit detached from being social uh let me pull out more cards and see what the cards are saying in regards to your finances with earth element you have the seven of cups this is an awesome card to get in regards to your finances because the seven of cups usually signifies options but it also signifies major um massive um options to be able to choose from to be able to make you or take you to the next level in regards to your finances so this is definitely a good card now with the nine of wands and the seven of cups i do feel that for some of you capricorns you may be feeling guarded in regards to having a lot of scattered energy uh scattered energy usually signifies to me um okay so i have two different scenarios for those of you guys that are currently not working and in regards to your finances, uh, you've been having difficulty or almost like you've been through the ringer with the nine of wands and you're just about to give up. Do not stay positive, remain positive because with the seven of cups, it's promising new opportunities coming your way and having to choose from a wide range of variety of options. Um, so again, keep that positive outlook. Now, for those of you guys that currently are employed and have been working, the Seven of Cups definitely signifies um, having or being able to pick and choose um, in regards to possibilities to make money. This could be if you are your own business owner or you run your own business, the Seven of Cups does promise uh, definitely new opportunities to make more money or to make money come in. Um, and also being able to expand there's a lot of desire a lot of fantasy a lot of imagination and a lot of the imagination is definitely necessary when you're trying to manifest things because of it, it's it's a process visualization um, so anyways in regards to the fire element um, which is a challenge you have the wheel of the year now the wheel of the year is definitely not a challenge whatsoever um, the only I guess negative uh, would be when the wheel of the year uh, would signify being able to I don't see a challenge at all with this wheel of the year um, so I guess I guess the challenge would be that if you have been through obstacle after obstacle after obstacle know and understand that it was preparing you for the new opportunities that are to come your way and when those start to manifest throughout the month of May be grateful be thankful for the opportunities for the new opportunities whether it's you know expansion in regards to your business whether it's um, getting hired for those of you guys that have not been working for a while whatever your situation may be the will of the year is telling you yes you've been down but i promise you you're going to go back up and vice versa uh if you're up and you've been at the top for a very long time be humble and try the best you can to help those that are not as elevated or as financially stable as you are 
and the more you give out or the more of a grateful heart you have the more opportunities start to come your way as the universe will correlate that with a grateful heart so it continuously keeps giving you abundance okay in regards to water and emotions uh, Capricorn you have the six of cups so the six of cups is definitely with the wheel of the year this is definitely talking about people from the past so for a lot of you Capricorns you may be dealing with the person from the past it could be a water sign could be a Scorpio Cancer or Pisces um, and I feel that with the wheel of the year they're definitely going to be coming around for the month of May and asking for a new opportunity or to be given an, a, you know an opportunity to reconnect and see <clears throat> and see if you guys can rekindle this type of connection um, my suggestion is be open to the possibilities because with the wheel of the year and the seven of cups you're definitely going to have many options not just in finances but also in regards to love and romance um, try the best you can to connect or only give time to those that you genuinely have uh, interests or commonalities with as I don't feel like I need to be telling you this because Capricorns are usually very practical about that but if there is some type of feeling or connection in regards to a specific friend that perhaps you've known for a very long time do not be very quick to shut them down and be like I'm not interested because I don't want to mess up the friendship because with the wheel of the year and the six of cups this is definitely talking to me about being or having the promise that things can actually turn out greater than what you actually initially you know thought they would go um, and this can also represent timing so for a lot of you guys perhaps you know you've known this person for a very long time but when they were single you were taken when you were taken they were single that type of scenario and it's almost like timing has everything to do with it and I feel that for the month of May a lot of new possibilities not just in finances but also in regards to love are going to be on the horizon so a lot of new it could even represent um, a friend you know communicating or finally owning up to the fact that they actually care that they want to get to know you better on a different level and it kind of throws you off because you weren't expecting that but I feel that this person has been having those feelings for you for quite a while Capricorn so this is definitely a good thing for those of you guys that are single for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship with the six of cups there's a lot of reciprocity in regards to love and uh, being able to put forth the effort in stabilizing your relationship or it could also represent if you have in fact in the past dealt with some type of struggle in regards to finances almost like depending on the partner and knowing that the par partner or your partner has your back um, so this is definitely a good thing with the wheel of the year um, so finally your spirits advice for the month of May 2018 you have the justice card so the justice card as a spirit's advice um, the justice card to me signifies karma um, whether it's good or whether it's bad we all will reap that and with the justice card here as spirit's advice I feel that spirit is telling you in the present Capricorn um, do right by those that are good and by those that are doing bad it is your duty to give your opinion or sp speak on issues that you see like don't be a bystander is what I'm hearing so when you see someone being mistreated or being treated unfairly speak up for them um, sometimes it's necessary to stand up for other people because when we do good good is soon to follow and soon to come to us as well as we might be in a position down the road where we want to speak up but we're scared of speaking up and someone else may stand up for you and speak up for you so understand that um, the justice card also represents you know balance more than anything so try the best you can um, Capricorn with the seven of cups and the wheel of the year if you've been extremely working hard at work or really putting a lot of effort spirit is telling you balance everything um, it's fine to overwork because we're trying to achieve goals we're trying to you know progress in life there's absolutely nothing wrong with that but do not ignore another part of your life whether it's family members whether it's giving time um, you know whether it's you know giving time to your partner whatever it may be 
balance is very important know and understand that and just like you put so much effort in your work and your business give that same you know attention that same passion that same you know ethic to other parts of your life so it's almost like for those of you Capricorns out there that have been trying to manifest things um, definitely May is going to be the month where you start to see manifestations but at the same time do not overdo in certain aspects of your life so if you're if you've been working really hard you will see the fruits of your labor come to life but at the same time don't forget your partner don't forget your kids don't forget your mother or your father make time for everything because it is necessary and the justice is here to tell you you need to balance everything just like you go hard in the business front go hard in the relationship and vice versa so i hope you guys enjoyed this reading like share and comment if you have not subscribed to my channel definitely subscribe and we'll see each other in the middle of the month bye